Dear students, I am Muhammad Nuruzzaman, assistant teacher in English, or as a pilot model government high school, or I have your nanos. Welcome to my online English class. I hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah and have kept yourselves safe and sound from epidemic coronavirus. Today's class is for class 8 students and this class is sub English subject and today's lesson is prefix and suffix. Today's lesson is Prefix and suffix. Before knowing prefix and suffix, we should know the keywords or base words or root words. Keywords or base words is those words, is those words which are given in the passage as noun or adjective or verb or adverb. There are eight kinds of parts of speech and four parts of speech are keywords or base words. When you are asked to add prefix and suffix with the keywords or base words, you know in your English question paper in question number 10, you are asked to add prefix or suffix or both prefix and suffix with the root words or keywords or base words to make a new word for new meaning okay now I am discussing about prefix and suffix what is prefix or what is the position of the prefix when one or more than one letters are added at the beginning of the root word or keyword or base word. When one or more than one letter or letters are added at the beginning of the root word or keyword or base word are called prefix. Prefix and when one or more than one, when one or more than one letter or letters are added at the end of the root word or keyword or base word are called suffix. Suffix. Okay. Now we have already known the position of prefix and suffix with the root word or keyword or base word. Now we shall see that there are many prefixes and suffixes in English language. We should first know what are the prefixes we should know first what are the prefixes and giving some examples of prefix I am giving some prefix like B E D E 
I L I M I N E N etc. Except these prefix, there are more prefixes in your grammar book. I hope you will read the rest of the prefixes from your grammar book. I have only given some examples. When prefix B is added with the base word or keyword, a new meaning is made from the keyword. Like when or if come is base word, then B is added with the word with the base word come. Then this is become, and our new word is become. Only B means how in Bangla how again. Become means how. Again, if the base word is activate, activate, you often see in your mobile set. Any function activate or deactivate. You have known the word. You have you are known to the word activate, especially in your mobile phone function. Activate or deactivate. Activate if the prefix is added with the word with the base word activate. Then it will be deactivate. Deactivate. Okay. Again, legal is another base word. And if we add il, then it will be illegal. Legal. Illegal. The same way, in the same way, if the main word is mortal, if the main word is mortal, and we add, we shall add I am, then it will be immortal. Okay. The same way, if the if the main word or base word is correct, and prefix I am is added with the base word I am, then it will be incorrect. The same way, if the main word is danger. Danger. If the main word is danger, then it will be uh, in danger. If we add en with the word, with the base word en, it will be in danger. Okay. There are more. Except these prefixes, there are more. Prefixes in English language, in English grammar. I hope you will read the rest of the prefixes from your 
English grammar book. Now, now we shall see what is, what are the suffixes, what are the suffixes. I am giving some examples of suffixes. There are so many suffixes in your English grammar, in your English languages. In your English language, there are so many suffixes. I am giving some examples like ER is one suffix. ER is one suffix. EN is another suffix. L E double S less N E double S less again L Y again only Y. Only Y except these except these suffixes there are more suffixes in your English grammar and you will read the suffixes from your English grammar book. Now we shall see how suffixes are added with the base word or root word or keyword. If the if the base word or root word is rich rich and ER is added at the end of the word, base word read, then it will be reader. From read to reader. In the same way, in the same way, if the if the keyword or base word is weak and we add en suffix with the word weak, then it will be weekend. Weak in Bangla, durbol, and weekend, durbol kora. In the same way, if the main word is ho. In Bangla, Asha Kora. And if we add suffix at the end of the base word ho, then it will be hopeless. Hopeless. Asha Hoto. Asha Him. In Bangla. N E double S. N E double S. Ness. If the word is. If the word is. Weak. Is base word. If the base word is weak. And if we add any double S ness at the end of the base word weak, then it will be weakness. It will be weakness in Bangla. Weak durbal adjective and weakness. 
durbolota in Bangla. And this part of this, weak is adjective and weakness noun. L Y L Y If the main word or base word is heaven heaven in Bangla Shorgo in Bangla Shorgo and if we add L Y at the end of the base word heaven then it will be heavenly in Bangla Shorgio, heavenly. And another suffix, only Y, is and if the main word or base word is hell. Hell. If we, Y, if we only Y suffix. It with the uh, word health at the end of the base word health, then it will be healthy. Health in Bangla, shasto. Healthy means in Bangla, shasto one. That means health noun and healthy, of course. Adjective. We have already seen that the prefix or suffix are added with the base word or keyword or root word to make the new words that. That, uh, that will mean or that indicate an, another meaning or the same meaning. And we have another thing, we have seen another thing that the part of speech, the part of speech is changed or the same, is changed or the same when we add suffix or prefix actually actually you can't understand whether prefix is prefix will be added or suffix will be added or both prefix and suffix will be added or not with the base word or keyword if if the base word or keywords are not given in the passage only then you can understand the only then you can understand or select the prefix or suffix or prefix and suffix both uh, with the base word or keyword when the base word or keywords are given in the passes okay today's class in in today's class we have seen that we have known that what is the position of prefix and suffix the prefix, the position of prefix is before the base word, is before the, before the base word prefix and after the base word is suffix. The position of suffix is at the end of the base word or keywords. Okay. Everybody, thank you to watch or listen to my online class and you should keep yourself safe and sound again from epidemic coronavirus 
and stay home thank you everybody